Okay, I've been going over YouTube, and this guy has about the best, uh, the best I can explain that it looks like for a flat Earth. Hang on a sec, this guy talks for a minute. I got it in slow motion, so so you can actually see what's going on when he gets to it. I got it in really slow, so so you can get a good look at how we can explain the flat Earth. Okay, here's what it is. He's saying the sun and the moon and the phases. See how it follows around the sun and the moon, and here the sun. You got this part of the moon showing. And the moon is actually moving in and out a little bit, and the sun stays on its same track. Okay, watch as it moves past, as it goes orbits more and more, it'll pass the moon, and then you're going into the new moon phase, right, right around there, almost. And then as it's, it's another couple of circles, and it'll come back. There you got you can see new moon a little bit in the phases showing shadow and then as it comes out you start to see the moon again but this explains it the best the best that I can say so when you're where this is following almost the equator and it's going a little bit up farther when we get summer and farther down there when when we get winter it's passing and you're going across the equator Basically, it's close to the equator. Equator maybe is there someplace. But that looks like the best. See how the moon is going after the phase of the sun now? It's starting to become... Getting into the full moon. I just figured I'd take this little video because this seems to... Actually show what I'm understanding. And see, and the sun opposes the moon. It goes a little faster than the moon. And all of a sudden, you start to see the the, the moon come <clears throat> come into full. Anyway, that is the best that I can find on the internet to really give a uh, a good picture of what's going on. See, now it's in full moon when the moon's opposite of the sun. And the sun is dropping as the sun will drop farther out this way after a while like it's, it's that's on a 24 hour scale and if that sun is 3000 miles rather than 93 million miles it would only illuminate part of the earth as it went around it wouldn't uh, <clears throat> you wouldn't see it it would look like it comes over the horizon almost like clouds do anyway i hope this kind of explains it that's the best best I can find for video, and I'm just taping it directly off a of screen here. But it is a uh, you know this guy talks talks good on the on the flat Earth thing. Makes a lot of sense. If you uh, once we're finished this, okay. See, you can you can go to this guy's site and and type it in and look at things for yourself. You know, but it's uh, very amazing.